Another day and more developments in the world of football. Sergio Aguero is leaving Manchester City and we've got some news about the Argentine striker's future. Not only that, Andrea Pirlo decided to punish Juventus stars for partying. Kylian Mbappe has said something very interesting about his future at Paris Saint-Germain. Goalsiders, it's time for you to get a bit comfortable, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon because we are going to discuss some super important stuff with you today. Juventus Trio partied too much Boys with big bank accounts will always be boys, right? You can't blame young players, or even the mature ones, for going out and having some fun every now and then. However, during a pandemic, when everyone prefers to stay isolated and interact with only a few people, it's irresponsible to break protocol. Weston McKennie has come into his own at Juventus, and the American midfielder's first season in Turin should be considered a success. But the youngster is now in trouble after he hosted a party at his villa. Between 10 and 20 individuals were at the party, including Paolo Dybala and Artur. Juventus haven't made any official announcement yet, but the reigning Italian champs are expected to take strict disciplinary action. Moreover, all three players have also been subject to fines under government rules. While Pirlo must be livid at his players, they might only get away with a fine or maybe short-term suspensions. Don't expect anything big, given how Juventus are already trailing league leaders Inter by 10 points. Anyway, just remember, even if you want to have a party, just make sure that you're not inviting the entire village. Kane Milestone He might not be a veteran, but Harry Kane should be considered one of the finest strikers in English football history. The striker scored his 10th career goal for the Three Lions in the 2-1 win over Poland, and by doing so, he also became the country's all-time top penalty scorer, surpassing former midfielder Frank Lampard. Poland managed to equalise the game in the 58th minute, but a late goal by Harry Maguire ensured that Gareth Southgate's men maintained their 100% win record for the 2022 World Cup qualification. In addition to the goal against Poland, Kane has also managed to score on all seven days of the week for England, becoming only the third player to achieve this feat after Wayne Rooney and the aforementioned Lampard. In the last 21 European Championship and World Cup qualifying games, Harry Kane has been at his prolific best, scoring 22 goals and providing 8 assists. He currently has 34 goals for the national team and has all the time in the world to better Wayne Rooney's haul of 53 goals. At present, Harry Kane is 6th in England's all-time scoring chart, chasing legends such as Sir Bobby Charlton, Gary Lineker, Jimmy Greaves and Michael Owen. We're certain that Kane is going to end up crossing more milestones in the coming years. However, we do hope that he's also able to win some trophies along the way. A player of his class deserves it. Liverpool planning Operation Depay Liverpool are likely to lose a few players this summer, and if they're unable to finish inside the top four, Jurgen Klopp might even lose the likes of Mohamed Salah and even Sadio Mane. The German tactician has to make preparations anyway after a very poor title defence. According to Marsa, the Reds are looking to disrupt Barcelona's plans to land Netherlands international Memphis Depay. The forward has been a huge success at Olympique Lyonnais, and Ronald Koeman has always wanted to reunite with his fellow countrymen at Camp Nou. However, La Blaugrana's financial issues might mean that they struggle to get a deal done, and with Liverpool in a fairly steady position, a deal could happen. But will Liverpool fans give a warm welcome to a player who played for their bitter rivals Manchester United a few years ago? We're not too sure about that. In other news, Liverpool are likely to sign Ozan Kabak from Schalke for only £9 million due to the financial chaos that has besieged the Germans. The Turk joined the Reds on loan in Germany and had an £18 million purchase clause in the deal. However, with the Blues likely to be relegated to the second division, they might have to cut their losses. This means that Liverpool might be able to get a real bargain in the summer. Tottenham end striker chase for quite some time, Tottenham had been looking for someone who could ease the burden on Harry Kane's shoulders. The Londoners were apparently very interested in signing Southampton hitman Danny Ings. However, they have to end their pursuit after getting the impression that the player doesn't wish to join them. At the same time, the player has stalled on a new deal, with reports claiming that he could be set for a big move this summer. Ings has been one of the most consistent strikers in England in the last few years, and it would be so good to see him finally play for a team where he can win some trophies. And at the same time, Tottenham might have a task on their hands in order to retain the services of Son Heung-min, who's attracting a lot of interest from Bayern Munich. 
The Korean has been a stellar performer for the club over the years and has a new deal on the table. However, the player is assessing his options and might even consider leaving Spurs in search of trophies. This summer is definitely going to be a very testing one for Daniel Levy and company. Kylian Mbappe continues to stall. So, what have you got to say about Kylian Mbappe's situation? We know that he's going to win the Ballon d'Or in the future for sure, and he'll continue scoring goals at an astonishing rate. Our money is on the France International and Erling Haaland to create the sort of rivalry that we saw between Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. But the most important thing to discuss here is whether he's going to achieve all that at PSG or at some other club, potentially Real Madrid. As things stand, Mbappe is not given any indication whatsoever that he's going to stay at Parc des Princes beyond next year when his deal expires. The Liga and Giants have been trying hard to make the player commit to fresh terms, but Mbappe is clearly holding out for a move abroad. The youngster is a huge fan of the France icon Zinedine Zidane and understandably wants to work with him. In a recent interview, the young forward revealed that there has been no progress on him signing a new deal while admitting that he has no updates. Speaking to RTL after France's 1-0 World Cup qualifying win away to Bosnia and Herzegovina, Mbappe said of a new PSG contract, If it had progressed, I would have come to talk about it already. Of course, I will talk about it when I've made up my mind. Not only that, Mbappe believes that the media tends to be harsher on him because he's playing for a French club. It's different for players who play abroad and only come back here for the national team. I'm there all the time. They speak about me a lot more. It's a different context to other players, but I knew it would be like that when I signed for Paris. We'll see. Regardless of all this, we do feel it's about time that Mbappe sets the record straight and help his cause by helping the club by telling them well in advance about his future plans. PSG are going to be in the market for the best players out there, and it would make their job easier if they knew exactly what their star player wants to do. Real Madrid, on the other hand, would be keenly monitoring things from afar and would feel that they have a great chance of signing the player this summer. It's unlikely that PSG will let the player leave as a free agent, especially after spending 145 million euros on him back in 2017. Aguero, a man with options. Even though injuries have taken some of the shine off his current campaign, Sergio Aguero will go down in the history books as one of the all-time Premier League greats. It was his goal that set Manchester City up for an era of sheer dominance, and it's likely that he'll leave the Etihad with his head held high and another winning medal around his neck. You don't get to see many strikers like Aguero in the game today, and even though he's nearing the twilight years of his career, the talented striker has a lot to give to top-flight football in Europe. That's why it's not surprising that a whole host of clubs are lining up for him. Barcelona, Chelsea, Paris Saint-Germain, Juventus and even Arsenal are looking to make their move for the mercurial striker. It's very surprising to see that Arsenal are looking at him. Mikel Arteta worked with City's all-time record goalscorer during their time at the Etihad. The Spaniard has been more inclined towards promoting the younger players at Arsenal. And when asked whether the Gunners would make a move, the Spanish tactician remained coy, stating that the club will see what happens in the future. At the same time, the Londoners are looking to tie down Alexandre Lacazette to a new contract. The Frenchman has been in good form in recent weeks and is no longer considered a backup to Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Juventus, on the other hand, would be eager to sign Aguero. Andrea Pirlo's men have had a torrid season this time around and could do with the player's experience. The prospect of seeing him and Ronaldo play together is relishing, to say the least. However, PSG might also look to make their move, especially if they decide to let Mbappe leave the club. Where do you think Aguero would go? There are definitely a lot of clubs who would want to sign him, but how many of these clubs would be willing to take the chance on a player who's been struck by injury problems in the last couple of years? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section and make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications.